for me. Okay, we talked about your last appointment. Can we go backwards to your first appointment? We definitely took this out of chronological order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all good. But let me let me go backwards for a second because by the time that you get to your last deployment, you are you still, you you have like you've you've earned it in blood. Mm -hmm. uh, your first deployment, you're green. Do you oh, remember yeah. taking your first life? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, not too long after we got into country into Iraq, driving on this long highway called Route Tampa, and the sun was about to start rising. People were waking up to do what they do in Iraq during wartime. Um, don't know if it's going to work or we're usually working in the fields or whatnot. But I watched this car come in uh, past curfew time and. The car was making erratic movements. And during that time, there was a lot of vehicle-borne IED explosions in that region. Um, and there's like signs to look out for. You don't learn till after the fact or different uh, telltale signs that a vehicle may have explosives in it. Um, one of the big signs for us was this car sped up and like torpedoed towards us, lined himself up and was aiming for the lead striker vehicle, the one I was in. I was the machine gunner, the 50 cal, and my uh, platoon leader is like, engage this guy, engage, engage. You know, uh, he had been to combat multiple times before that's my first time. And I'm thinking like, this is how it's gonna go down. I'm not getting shot at, there's a vehicle, it's swerving and it's like, it felt like it was going a hundred miles an hour towards us like a missile. And I'm looking at it and it's like, well, it, it, it's not what I expected it was gonna be like. It wasn't like the beaches of Normandy or like saving private Ryan and stuff like that. It was just a dude in a vehicle looked like um, about to crash into us. Uh, his vehicle was way down in the back, almost like it was dragging, almost like hydraulic cars or whatnot. And the first time he told me to, I didn't shoot. Then he had really enforced it the second time. And that's when I, I pulled the trigger on the 50 cal and watched the bullets walk from the hood of his vehicle into him inside the vehicle and the vehicle just did some funny jerking movement veered off and crashed into the uh the dirt off to the side of the, the little highway road we stopped the vehicles got out investigated what was going on and looked in the back and it had all these big wires and old like mortar looking shells uh shells from our mortar uh big mortar rounds um in the back of his vehicle and he was going to detonated crashing into us and I was the first yeah that was the first guy I killed was stopping that and shooting him with the 50 cal that was my first okay. yeah the very first the, the, a 50 cal is not a normal bullet that not a, no, like, I wish, like, yeah I wish I had one I normally have bullets laying around but I have one it's just in the garage but yeah it's five and a half inches long what, what does that do to a human body water vapor like they say the human body is composed of like 70 percent mainly water uh 30 percent of flesh but you see all the 70 percent mainly that that's what it, it didn't look like a human after that it's just water vapor and and pink reddish mist but there's no like a distinguishable human after that at all so, and the rounds we were using too, they were, they, 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 they packed the punch. They were specially, they were special rounds. They weren't just, it's anti-material, anti-tank, you know, rounds. Some of them spark, uh, explode when they hit. We have exploding tips, things of that nature. So, um, yeah. So when you guys go to investigate, you know, you kill your first man. Mm -hmm. Go over there. I want to make sure I did it for the right reason. Mm -hmm. so you, you, you're looking through the car. Okay, there's wires. There's mortar shells back here. He he was definitely going to do something bad to us. Mm -hmm. Killers is, is justified, for lack of a better way to put it. Yeah. What does he look like? I, I know you just described the mm -hmm. bullet and the size and 
what happened is is there a human body left is, is no. he just got a hole in his chest like what when, when you're not a even a hole yeah what do you mean it hole? was it wasn't there wasn't a, a, a body for a hole to be when they opened the door on the vehicle like he spilled out like a pile of jello that's what it looked like like gelatin like jello there wasn't a, 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 a distinguishable body it was just mush just a, a blob with parts of clothes and his clothing and parts of the interior of the vehicle mashed into it. It was just a puddle of what a human used to be. If you could imagine that it's yeah. With a puddle of a human. Yeah. And and what is this from the waist up? From what I could see, it was, yeah, from the waist, uh, pretty much almost everything. Like I put close to 20 rounds into this vehicle and into him. It wasn't, it wasn't like an intact portion of the human body at all. There wasn't like a leg or a whole leg or a whole arm. It was none of that. It was just, he was all inside the car on the windshield or on the, uh, the side window portions, the interior of the vehicle. He was splattered all in there and the remains that were not splattered spilled out the car when they opened it. It's just like a puddle of a sacky puddle of jello. Gelatin, yeah. Okay, so there's gonna be no open casket. I mean, I'm asking a dumb oh, rhetorical no. question, but he, he, th that can't even fit into a casket. Like they, they're no, literally. Wasn't... You got go, go to scoop them up. Damn. Yeah, you'd have to scoop them up. Like it'd be like putting Humpty Dumpty back together around that. Like it looked like it'd be more impossible than that. Definitely. Yeah, you could. To me, it looked like you could fit them. I guess the first time I had ever seen someone die, it's the first time I had ever killed someone. And my brain, I think, is just trying to, at the time, was trying to put the pieces together of how to make sense of it. And it looked like you could scoop them up in one of those gallon water pitchers and put them in there. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.